Good day, Tinkercad friends. I have got a project for you. I want you to enter the code block section and we are gonna make a nifty holiday tree. Simply hit new design, change the name to tree, and then let's start with building some cool code. First, let's create a new object called branches. Simply rename your variable and type branches. And the vision of this is to have the branches move up, but also underneath them have another object called trunk. Where of course we rename the variable and we name it trunk. Let's actually draw the trunk first. So we'll move it above. And if you were thinking what object would you make a trunk with, how about a cylinder? Drop that underneath and pick a color that you think is good for a trunk. You can pick any color that makes your day. When you pick the sizes, I think we should start with a size 5, and I think the height of it should be 15. For our trunk, 20 sides is just fine. All that done. When you hit play, you can see that your trunk shows up, but notice how it's halfway above and halfway below our work plane. When we draw using code blocks, it always puts the shape exactly at zero, zero. It splits everything evenly. So we just simply need to use a modify command and we need to move up. Well, splitting 15 and a half is a little bit of work. We have to type decimals. So let's change our height to 10. So that way the Z change would be five. And then hit play. And look at that, now our trunk is flat. You also may have noticed, I'm not a good speller. So I'm gonna rename that as trunk because apparently I missed last time. So let's make a branch. If you were thinking about your various shapes, which one of these possibly looks like a pine tree? I'm gonna choose the cone. Now I want my cone to be green. I'm gonna check its sizes. I want the little point of my cone to be zero. I'm going to change my radius to 25 and I'm going to make the height of it 10. When I hit play, remember it's going to show up down below, but I do like the size of it. So I'm going to switch right to my move command and I'm going to raise it up. Now remember we had to go five to get this at zero, but really it was 10 high. So now I've got to go at least 10 and probably five more. So let's try 15 and see if we like it. You can see our holiday tree is starting to come together. So let's add the next branch. We could use some fancy repeat codes, but right now let's just make an awesome tree and we'll save the repeat one for a different project. So if this one was 25, I'm gonna change this one to 20. So I just subtracted five and now let's pick that color green. Let's keep doing size 10. I'm gonna leave the sides alone and I'm gonna bring out another move to drop the next one in place. 5, 10, 5, 15. Let's see what happens if we do 25, an increase of 10 and hit play. That's got potential for our holiday tree. As you make your tree more epic, you can add as many branches as you want. Right now though, I wanna add an ornament. So I'm gonna go back to my new object and I'm gonna rename this variable balls because I am just gonna simply add balls for these ornaments. So that means I need to go to the shapes. I'm gonna pick a color. I'm gonna go with a cool pink. I'm gonna to go to his size and I want these to be small, but I want them to be really round, so I'm gonna make them 36. We need to move it. So once again, we're gonna do the move. And this time, we need to move it in a couple of directions. So I don't want my ornament right in the center. I want it to go to the right, so I'm gonna put the number three. And I'm gonna bring it towards me, so I'm gonna do uh, like negative three. And then I'm gonna try that height. Remember our first one was at 10. So I'm gonna try putting this at a Z of 12. Let's see what happens when it draws. <laughs> so my ornaments out there, I just can't see it. It's hiding. 
so it's a little bit inside. So I'm going to try a height of 15 instead. And I'm going to make my speed a lot faster as it draws. Still can't see it. I'm going to change the color to something a little brighter. I'm going to try negative 8 and see if I can get it to show up that way. Ooh, I finally got my ornament showing up. So the other ones were just too close and inside the green part of the tree. And this is where you can test to find the numbers that you like. And 12 would be pretty nifty. And you can repeat and add as many of those as you want on your project as well. I'm going to add one more really quick. There's my sphere. Pick a cool color. This time I'm going to go bright pink. Once again, 2. Once again, 36. Back to my move. And this one, I'm going to go negative 3. So it's going to go to the left. I'm going to stay with... I'm going to go negative 16, so it's going to be a little closer to the person. And I'm going to do a height of 13. Let's see how that looks. Draws nice and fast. Shows up pretty good. Easy for me to change my numbers. If I want to try uh, negative 13 to see how far over that goes, I can test it out. And you can see my tree is starting to look beautiful. Just like the height of your tree, you can add as many cool ornaments as you want. I'm going to show you how to add one more item before you get to go crazy and just add your own stuff. So I want to add a star. So once again, create new object. Let's bring out a star. You can see it's right there in the shapes. You can pick whichever star you want. But what I want you to see first is that when it draws, it draws flat to the ground, which doesn't work for where we want to put it on the tree. So you can see that star is beautiful, but it does not show up the way we need. So we need to use a new command called rotate. Well, right now it's set to rotate about the x-axis. Let's just take a peek at how that works. Well, that is close to the right orientation, but we need to turn it a little bit to the left as well. So what you can do is add a second rotation, switch to the y-axis, and then watch this. When you click, remember how I said it needs to go to the left? It lets you drag to the left. Let's see how that looks. That would be a decent star. It's just really huge. Let's use another command. Let's use scale. And let's scale this by 0.2 in every direction. and see if that works for us. That's a decent sized star. So then the last step for our new object zero, which I'm going to rename as star real quick, is to change its height. And we're going to put it at, say, uh, 35 and see if that works. It's a little too high, but that's easy to adjust and really your tree should all be much taller than mine anyhow because I'm just giving you an idea how to build one. Your job is to see just how epic you can make it. Plus, you get to watch it be animated, which is a lot more fun once you get it built. Friends, there are so many different shapes that you can play with. You can make packages underneath your tree. You can add anything you want in your awesome bit of code. Remember that you can zoom out if it gets too big. If you lose a part, you can hit the equals. If you ever drag something in you don't want, you can just put it in the trash can. It's real easy to explore building your own awesome code using code blocks. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this, please smash that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, what in the world are you waiting for? If you want to know when there's a new movie by me, hit that notification button. And last but not least, if you have a question or a comment or just want to say thanks, please add it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.